Hello, and welcome back to Danganronpa Another. On our last episode, we finished up chapter number one, and Mitch died, and Surugi got very attractive very quickly. Um, and now I'm a Surugi simp, apparently, so that's fun. So, today we're gonna be starting up chapter two. Um, I know there's gonna be some parts that are in Korean still, according to the download, some of the free time events are. I don't know if that's like a bug where it happens accidentally, or if all the free time events are in Korean, to which I will be kind of upset about because I want to learn more about a lot of these characters and I'm not gonna know what to do with my time if I don't know what they're saying. So, um, maybe I just need to learn Korean, I don't know. Um, but I think that it does it for the intro. I'm just gonna hit load and get right into it. Ooh, this is like a different, okay, it's different. Interesting, oh no, right off the bat. Okay, I don't know what these options are, but usually in this kind of situation, the one that it's on, like the first one is the one they want you to click. So, in case someone's like clicking too fast, so that's the one I'm gonna do. Is it, oh, maybe it just said, do you want to save? Sure, I'll save. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's this weird mom. Yuki, Yuki, save me, Yuki. Mom is really struggling right now. Help, Yuki. Yuki, I'm sorry. I haven't done anything properly yet. It's so unfair to die. In a place I don't even know about. Oh, he's purple. Yuki, you bastard. You, in, you incited everyone to lead me to death? You put my dream of getting out of here to death. What is this sound effect? Are they all getting tasered? Because that's kind of what it sounds like. Mida, 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 Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Mida, Yuki, Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida. I was, it, I, it was going too fast. I didn't hit any button. Pant. Pant. Hello, everyone. Morning has arrived. It's 7 a.m. Wake up, bitch. Let's have a lively day. <laughs> Damn it, I had a nightmare. I don't feel well. I lost two friends in one day just yesterday. If you can even sleep, it's weird. The first morning without two friends. The goal of getting of here, okay, probably means the goal of getting out of here remains the same, but the mood will be different from the past. Starting today, what should I do? After the class trial was over yesterday, we each decided to rest in our rooms and returned to our private room without saying a word. That's the other thing um, it said, is that sometimes the translation sounds a little odd. So I think when it sounds like that, I might just like autocorrect it with my, you know, own sense of English so it makes sense. I hope everyone's okay. Can I get out of bed? Let me out. Who is it? Well, in a situation like this, for a person to come to my room is, I can't figure that out yet. Okay, place your butts, who's it gonna be? I'm, I'm leaning towards Akane, honestly, or, um, Haru. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's Kinjo. Why? Oh my god, no, because me simping for him. Now every time I read for him, it's gonna sound like Yuki's literally lusting for him, and that is not what we want. Oh, okay. I have to get it under control. Oh, <laughs> oh no! My journey into madness. Okay. Oh. Oh. Marda, you don't look very good. I can't be good. Two friends have died. I feel the same way. I too couldn't sleep because the shock of Maki's death didn't go away. He doesn't even mention Higa. But in order to not let her death be in vain, why don't we get out from here as soon as possible? That's true. 
Anyway, we must have cooled down a lot more than yesterday, so let's all get together and talk. I have something to tell you. Something to tell me? I'll let you know soon. Come to the dining hall. Kinjo, who's strong in action and leadership, but yesterday we saw that face and a feeling of disbelief arise. <laughs> Are you really tolerating Higa's murder? Of course, it, it is also murder that Monokuma did to Higa. Even Monokuma's a bastard criminal who deserves to die. But leaving Higa alone wouldn't be safe. A murderer must be punished severely. What? You... So you think it's good that Higa died? Of course. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. Anyone who kills even one person has no right to live here. <laughs> I like what he does that piece. Kinjo's desire to protect us is real. But no matter how Higa killed, such a statement ignores human dignity. Which... Makes it different to think about it here, but it's true he has a good brain. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Morning. Hello, this is the translator's note. First, I'd like to thank you for playing this version of the game. There's bound to be typos and miswording since it is just my own personal translation of the story of Dog and Her Butt and Other. Okay. This will include most of the chapters in the story, which its translation started since 2021 to 2022 from Korean to English. Oh, and you will be given a little boost in skill since chapter 1 is not in this build. You can use these medals to buy your skills. 200 Monokuma coins, okay. Word of advice, there are secret items in which you can get from the Mono Mono machine to unlock events in chapter 2 and chapter 3. Thank you once again and have fun. Aw. Oh, sweet. Oh, look, they've got the, the faces, so now you can actually tell who's there. That's nice. They did not have that before. Ah, Tyra. Hot to know. Okay, so right away I'm noticing they are referring to people by their last names in this, like the traditional Japanese way instead of their first names like the English translations usually do. Unfortunately, I don't have their last names memorized, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to calling them this. Hello, Maya Kun. Good morning, Maida. Why are you two together? Let's run. Me and Ayame-chan are good friends. Right, Ayame-chan? Yes, the three of us, Tyra and Maki, became my closest friends while talking in the dining hall. Yeah, even Maki. Hyoka-chan. Sorry, I've been depressed since this morning. That was my bad. Ah, no, it's okay, Ayamai-chan. All we have to do is work hard for Kyoka-chan's sake. By the way, Maida, were you also on your way to the dining hall when Kinjo called you? Yeah. Hearing that, he must have called you guys too. Kinjo-kun, I can't seem to trust him somehow because of that attitude yesterday. I still can't believe it. How can he take human life so lightly when he says he's going to protect us? Come on, Tyra. It doesn't change that Kinja's our leader, so let's at least hear him. <sighs> Alright, at least he has a smart, smarter brain than me. Well then, Maida. We'll go ahead first. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to, like... If I know that the grammar's weird, I will just say it a little bit differently. Even in a place like this, friendship thrives. Even so, it's said that Maki and them were close. Mm, no, I shouldn't be thinking about things like this. I have to go to the dining hall quick. Oh, they have all the nameplates. Okay. Oh, I love how he has like his sans eye. Oh, sorry, I don't know Korean. Uh, best girl. That's where she is. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom first. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like none of the flavor text is going to be translated, which is fine because I never have been that into reading it. <laughs> okay. Hello, Tamori. Hi, no, Yuki-kun. Hi. Did you sleep well? Sleep all, you say? I have complete nightmares. Yeah, me too. Ha, huh, and Tsurugi-kun went nuts. We all saw that yesterday, that he was a completely twisted guy. Still, I think he's found something, so let's hear him out. Yuki-kun, you can't be this nice. Even during the class trial, even Tsurugi-kun took full advantage of you. I was taken advantage of? Oh my, maybe you didn't realize it. You dummy. Okay, Kizuna. I hate you still. Uh, it's this way, I think. There's probably no- oh! Hello! Uihara, did you sleep well? It's Maida. I had a good sleep. And you? Um, I had a nightmare. I didn't sleep well. I'm glad you did, though. It's strange to sleep well in a situation like this. It is normal for you. By the way, it seems Kinjo is calling us today. You too. I was about to go as well. Right, I'll be going on ahead. Don't be late. I want to hang out with him. I'm really curious about him, honestly. How- how- he teleported. He was out in the hallway, now he's there. Hmm, okay. So, are we all here? Yes, everyone is present. This is everyone now. The absence of two people feels too big. We could have been better friends under different circumstances. Well, setting that aside, get to the point. Why you brought us here? So, setting that aside, uh, at least give us time to mourn our friends. Do it in your own time. I'd rather not spend my time with you all. Then why don't you screw off, for I bitch? Hey, did anyone notice Yamaguchi isn't an herbivore anymore? <laughs> That's irrelevant. Everyone be quiet. Don't make a mess. Though I'd love to piss off as soon as possible like that slut said. I want to hear what you have to say first, Surugi. I admit that you are someone worth listening to. Excuse me? Did you just call me a s slut? I'll fucking murder you! <laughs> What's wrong? Isn't it true? I'm sure every s everyone knows that you flirt with every single male around the whole school. Are you managing a fish farm now? You fucking bitch! I said stop. Do you think I called you guys here to fight each other? Right now! And isn't there something more urgent? Makaru just wants to be spoken to. I'll talk to you too, Makaru. Seriously, that's not the important thing. She's so funny. I love her. If she dies, I'm going to throw my computer out the window. Guys, let's calm down. Tell us, Kinjo. Thank you, Mikaku. I know we're all having a hard time after what happened yesterday, but there's something I must let you know. Ooh, what is it, mate? Well, I'm feeling a little tired now. Can you make it as short as you can? Before that, I need to make something very clear. What would that be? Didn't I tell you yesterday that uh, from now on, I'll do whatever it takes to protect everyone. However, even though I can no longer be confident that another murder will not take place, so let's make some changes in our group. Make some changes. In a nutshell, we'll sort out the class to people who will follow my rule and those who won't. Oh, so he's a dictator now. Huh. If you agree to follow my command and seek order, no matter what happens, I promise to protect you to the best of my abilities. But if you can't agree on those terms, I have no intention of protecting you. 
so for those of you who don't want to follow my command, I ask you to leave. Wait, what? Grimdell, are you nuts? Why are you so surprised? It should be an easy choice if you're confident in yourself. <laughs> if you're confident that you'll never commit murder, that is. I mean, of course we won't, but what's wrong with you? I thought you were going to protect everyone. Anything sounds achievable when put in words. Did any of you expect Mitsuhiro Higa to commit murder? Well, no, but... That's unrelated. You said that you won't care about friends who disagree with you. How is that protecting everyone? Hear me out. I believe that these friends who choose, choose to leave the dining hall out of their own violation volition, sorry, are refusing to act as a group. In other words, they are individuals prepared to murder at any time. Is there a reason I should protect those potential murderers? That's... that's nonsense. People who won't follow your rules are murderers? That's nothing more than dictatorship. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, Yuki. Dictatorship isn't that bad, alright? I never said I'd force you to do anything. Extreme. In fact, all of this is for your own good. As long as you choose to remain here, I will do my best to ensure your safety. I'm doing this just to prevent a conflict of opinion during emergencies by centralizing authority to one person beforehand. You're free to state your opinion, but on the other hand, in emergencies, only mine will take priority. That's true. None of us would be good enough at dealing with crisis as Kindro is. So what? Can a few people who won't follow you just die then? You're leaving them to die. Is this something to get mad at? I'm offering this with the expectation that all but a few of you would remain. There should be a problem unless you're willing to murder, right? That's not the point. Right now, I'm questioning your humanity. Humanity? It's already there, Tyra. Majority of a minority. And suddenly it turned into your turn to die. This is common sense. Do you really think humanity or justice is all it takes to protect people? What? What? You are right, I want to protect everyone without forcing you under my command, but only if it was so easy in practice. To protect someone is a difficult task. Let's all imagine for a second that you didn't take my proposal. I can suppose that someone gets murdered while everyone is cooperating like before. Seeing how I like after just Kyoka and Higa, I doubt we'll ever recover from another murder. But, I, but, but... If something like that would happen, will you be responsible for everyone's safety? Is that what you're saying? Akane didn't reply anymore. No, not just Akane. No one could argue against him. Every single one of us was certain that Suruki wouldn't listen to any form of argument that we could muster. Hey, Mr. Police Officer, let me ask you one question. Are you not going to tell what you have to say before you're done sorting us out? Of course. Why would I share information with people who refuse to cooperate? If that's the case. Yeah. She has a point. Good luck with that psycho cop. I'm going to be on my own. I won't show my face to you guys and don't go talking with me again. Are you sure? I won't stop you. Can I assume you agree to be treated as a potential murderer? Well now, who knows? Kinjo, are you okay with this? You're really okay doing this. Is there anyone else who wants to get out? I'm warning you, this is your only chance. I won't allow you to change your mind later. Kinjo. Then I shall leave. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in him. 
Mr. Uihara, why are you leaving? I always act in the way oh, I believe is right. That is my only reason. Oh no, we're becoming divided. This shouldn't be happening. Anyone else? Make your decision quick. Stop this right now. Isn't this enough? He's an Entomori, you two. Ah! Talk, he's an Enchan, please don't. I I'm always hated, swarmed in a large group. A and it's not like I'm close to any of you. That's not true. We can start building our friendship from now on. Right, Tamori, you're a pretty girl, so. You are welcome at welcomed anytime. Mori, I'm on a whole different level than any of you. And what you all think of me inside? A stupid bitch, a fucking slut stringing guys along. I know it. Wait, he's in a chan. Unbelievable. I didn't expect this many people to proclaim themselves a criminal. There was no need to do this, Saruki. No, this had to be done. I can't handle that many people alone. Anyway, ten people remaining. Seems just about the right number. Insane. You're insane. I don't care what you say. If this is the only path I can take to protect you, I promise to repay your trust by keeping you absolutely safe. Wise choice, everyone. I will not let you guys die, no matter what. Although the face Rugi made was a bright smile, what it showed was not the emotion of joy, but the ugliness of a human being. The natural balance between dreams and bonds. Go forth with the best dreams you believe in. Only ten of us remained after Mekuru, Uihara, and Tamori left the dining hall. Although discontentment and distrust against Kenjo were at their peak, we had to follow his words for now, as he had the most information and knowledge out of anyone about our situation. So, what is it? What are you going to show us? Yes, you see, the stairs to the second floor are now open. The second floor of what place? The stairway in the dormitory still walked, but the fence blocking the stairway near the classrooms had disappeared. I discovered it while investigating early in the morning. The fence disappeared? What is happening? Not only that, the bathhouse door in front of the dining hall was unlocked as well. Bathhouse? You mean the one next to the laundry room? Yes. I don't know why this has happened, but... Isn't this a good opportunity? How about we all investigate these locations when we're able to? That might become unaccessible any time. Since we haven't found any clues on the first floor, the second floor may have some. But I cannot stop thinking that this is suspicious. I agree with Ayame. Do you think it might be Monokuma's trap? Not that it makes it any less interesting. I think the same way. We need to be careful. Oh. He's cowards! Oh, he's back. Really, Turia? How many times are you going to be surprised by the same thing? Onakuma, how dare you show your face before us? Aw, oh, don't be so mad. I didn't come to pick a fight today. Actually, I'm here to help you. Don't get so personal. What do you mean, help us? You killed two of our friends. Huh? Kill? I don't know what you're talking about. I know Mr. Monokuma never did such a thing. Kyoko was murdered by Mitsuhiro. <laughs> You led Mitsuhiro into it. Also, the blood from his death is still on your hands from his execution. Hey, that's not murder! It's rightful punishment for a murderer! You do the same logic. Would you call around conducting capital punishment a murderer? That's irrelevant. It's a completely different scenario. Huh? Is that so? Then 
my pal Sarugi approved what I said yesterday. Sarugi, can you say something? Sarugi. Shut up, wrong criminal. I might share your ideology, but I never approved of your actions. You're no more than a murderer. Oh, really? What shame. Hmm? Looks like some of you are missing. Are they off on a bathroom trip? Hey, dummy bear. No one likes you here, so just get to the point and go away. I have some good news for once, but now I don't want to say anything anymore. But I'm not going to falter you just... I'm not going to falter just yet. I want to come to bullies. Yep, I'm going to forget about your rude behavior and tell you the good news. I forgot to say this before, but you have a reward for successfully completing the class trial. Since you people did an impressive job of finding the culprit yesterday, I opened the second floor of the school in the bathroom as a prize. We you think it's a headmaster mother come, which is the greatest mentor you've ever had. We already knew about it. Huh? It is a critical hit. The bear finishes last place. Exactly what Sarugi said, word by word. Wow, I kind of feel bad to see him talk so proudly about it. Or even with the, them cameras, you must have some real bad hearing. Stop! Idiot. Pregnant. What does that say? Stupid idiot pregnant male seahorse. Stupid idiot pregnant male seahorse! Oh, right, I forgot about this. Remember the name plates from the dormitories? I made it easier to identify the owner of each room. Why you can draw to be next to your name plates? It would be fun to see the same trick take place again. <laughs> Enough already. Go back to your hoe, criminal scum. Mm. We're all idiots. Stupid idiots. He must be quite embarrassed. I was hoping for some legit good news. Guess I shouldn't have expected that from Monokuma. That explains why new paths have opened up suddenly, though. From what he said, it appears that the new areas aren't traps to let us in. I think we can investigate without fear. So, the strange drawings at the dormitory were Monokuma's doing? Hmm, it would certainly make it easier to find our rooms. We won't need to check the nameplates anymore. No one seems to care about them, so I didn't mention anything as well. <laughs> so, are we all investigating the newly unlocked areas? Yes, that'll be our plan for now. We can investigate individually, then come back here some time later. Then, we'll share our findings. Well, I sure hope we find something good this time around. Kenjo, what about Makuru, Uihara, or Tamori? What do we do if we meet them? Them be on their own. They chose to resist my authority. Do not approach them. Think of them as loose cannon. We can't act together with dangerous individuals. But you, Yuki. Looking straight into my eyes, I may gently shook her head. Let's follow Surugi's orders for now. He is the best person here to manage our situation. She's right, my dear Kuhn. We can we can talk about it later. Right now, we need to begin the search. Kenjo, I have one question. Just answer me this, please. What is it? If we find a way to escape from here, then will you escape without telling those three about it? If we could escape from here, huh? If it really were a perfect opportunity to escape, I'll take them with our group. After all, I would want to save everyone here under better circumstances. Remember what you said. It's a promise. Though Suri didn't reply, I gave off he gave off a semblance of a smile I could trust. Now let's keep moving. It's currently 9 a.m., so we will rendezvous again at midday. I'll give out more information when we get her again. Yes, sir. Well, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. All right, it's a new day. It's a new life. I'm feeling good. Let's go. This is the best for now. I tried my best. Uttering these words over and over in my mind, I selfishly consoled myself. 
What's already happened cannot be reversed. But there's one thing I won't give up on regardless of what Kinjo thinks. I will not stop interacting with those three who left our group. As long as we continue to speak to each other, there will always be a possibility of mutual co cooperation between us. It isn't too late to give up on them. Various threads of thought whirled around in my mind, but for now, I have to prioritize the investigation. Everything will resolve itself as soon as we can escape from here. The new areas that opened up were the second floor and the bathhouse. Let's move. This is the bathhouse? It's like a public bathroom. Let's investigate it. Well, what? Hey, Tamori. I wanted to see if you were okay. If I was okay, why? Because of Kinjo. You can did you care about that? You're nice, but don't worry, because you have nothing to worry about. More than that, this public bathroom is originally locked, but when did it open? Uh, that's because of Monokuma. He said that he would open up a new place every time. The class trial was finished. Hmm. Hey, Tamori, don't you want to cooperate together with everyone even now? Kinjo seems to be trying to separate the others, but I don't like that. It's okay. I like you, Kin, because you're so kind, but the rest of them, I don't want to see them. That, and I can't get along with them anymore. Why is that? If we become... Together, surely? It's probably if we work together, surely. You're being annoying, I've already decided. I can't look down on my, on my words. But it's not the right attitude either. We got some lockers. We got some plates. I can eat. Okay, Akane. I do can this is it looks like a bathhouse. Well, that's because it's a large communal bath. This is quite the situation, but I like this one. In the private rooms, it only had a basic bath. Right? No, I don't think so. Even if I said that, I took a bath satisfactory enough with the shower room facilities. Um, there doesn't seem to be any distinction between the men and women here. You mean like a mixed bath? What? No, no it's still too early. It's still a hundred thousand times early to see each other's naked bodies. Tyra, calm down. You're getting too paranoid. Oh, uh, sorry, Maida-kun. I'm a little scared when it comes to this kind of situation. Anyway, I think a large communal bath is really good. Yes, it's perfect to build a bond in this place. It would be okay if everyone took a bath together. T together No, I I'm talking about the girls. What are you thinking, Maida-kun? That was it? <laughs> of course. I never thought of anything weird. I see. Why is it so hot in here? It's like the steam is filling up in this area. Well then, I'll bring the girls later. But are you going to call all of them? Even to Mori and Mekaru? That's right. No matter how much distance is between us, I just can't keep things this way. So Maidikun, you have to get out quickly. How long are you going to be here? Okay. I'm going to call the girls. Bathing together. I have to investigate Akane. The girls are bathing together. I heard it. Kawashikawa? I heard what? Of course, it's about the bath. She said all the girls are taking a bath together. I can't miss this chance. How about it, Maida? Seems like you and I are the only men around here who want to do it. How are we... What? What is it? It's the bathtub. If you pretend you don't know, don't fake it. This guy, it's stupid. All of the girls, of course, Tyron, Tamori, and Inori, who has a clear infant body type, and Meguru and Kurokawa are kind of model level height, right? If you miss this chance, you're not even a man, isn't that right? Well, it's a bit sad not to be able to see Maki anymore, but... Certainly, if you're not interested in... Girl... That would be a lie. I mean, it's a girl taking a bath. I definitely want to see that once. But would that be okay? Even if the others are there? I don't know. I don't like the thought of ending up caught by Mekuru or Tamori. 
I might create another class trial again. What should I do? How can I think about this seriously? Am I a fool? Please think about the situation, Yuki Maida. Is it the time to be watching woman bathe? It's not like I wasn't interested, but this isn't the time right now. If you want to do it, do it on your own, Kobashikawa. What? If you miss the opportunity, there won't be a next time, you know? If you have the time, why not do a little more investigation? Hey, come on, Maida. Are you a saint? You gotta be a man. Be ambitious. Is on a woman bathing an ambitious act? Big, stuffy guy. Boring. <sighs> I'll grab Toru instead. The girls will come soon. I should leave. No, I didn't get to look inside. Uh, it really is just a big pool. Okay, yeah, so all the flavor text is going to be in Korean, it looks like. Which means I just don't click on any of it. Moida, we can really go to the second floor. That's right. It would be nice to have some clues on the second floor. Oh, that's all you have to say? Okay. Hello, best girl. Come here, best girl. Come here. Amazing! Somehow that second floor has a new atmosphere, so it's like an adventure. Tatsuki is so excited! Being able to go in a new place is a plus, right? Let's investigate if there's any clues to escape. Yeah! Alright, we got some trash cans. I hope it's not important. I did find a monocoin though. I might not really be actively looking for monocoins this chapter because I'm not going to include it on the flavor text. So we got a gem over here. Oh, Mida, you've come here. Yeah, wow, I didn't know there was a training room. Right? I was so surprised too. <laughs> this is amazing. Hot to know, did you find something fun? Oh, did, did it look like that? I'm sorry, it isn't a pleasant situation. It's nice to be able to train again, so I stopped thinking for a moment. Ah, oh, that's right, because Hatano is an athlete. Yeah, so far I've been running around the hallway to practice, but there's a treadmill here, so there's no need to do that anymore. And don't we also have a punching bag and dumbbells? I am an athlete, but upper body training is also very important, so I'm looking forward to working out in the future. What is it, Marta? That expression. Oh dear, I went ahead of myself again. I'm sorry, I'm telling you useless things. Huh, no, I don't think of that. I just feel better because Hachna talks about what she really likes. Really? Marta, do you mind training too? No, maybe not that much. I see. Well, tell me anytime. It would be nice if we could exercise together. Let's find someone we can work out with. I think Yamaguchi would be interested. Sincerely finding what you like and strive in steadily. I think it's a good thing to be able to do that. Can I have such a good thing too? Yeah, so. Maybe one of these has a monocoin. Can we get on the treadmill? Can we run? No. Okay, bye. Wait, I want to look at the punchy bag. Oh, I can punch it! And punch it again. And over here we've got um I don't know what this is. Oh she won't talk to me. Hey Mikaru. What? Nothing. It's just you're here too, so incompetent. Is there, is there a reason why the second floor opened? Oh I guess you didn't know because you left the dining hall. Monokuma told us that after a class trial, a new place will open. Aha. Uh -huh. After that class trial, the second floor opened. So then, if there are more class trials in the future, there will be more places to go, right? Oh, come on, that won't happen. Really, is that so? I don't think this group of chaos led by such an officer will last long. 
the way incompetent, look at this room. I can't even guess what this place is doing here. I didn't expect anything, but what do you think? It said power room, so wouldn't this make it something for like electricity for the school? Like a power plant. You don't think I even know that. What I'm asking is, why this school has such a facility? No matter how high the power consumption is, there is a power plan that takes up the entire room like this. Does that seem normal to you? Well, it's a little strange, but isn't it special because it's Hope's Big Academy? Rock gears! Whoops. Ah, I had it too quickly. The energy of all the facilities of the school is something. Monokuma. The reason why there's such a large power room in the school is because I can't get supplies from the outside. No, su no supply from the outside? What do you mean by that? Hope's Peak Academy is built in the heart of Tokyo. But it can't get external energy. Well, there's a reason for that. The electricity supply itself from the outside and the location. Oh, I shouldn't say this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyways, if anything ha wrong happens to this room, the fluorescent lights and the water will go out, so do be careful. Is that foreshadowing? Is that how someone's gonna die? What in the world are you talking about? I don't understand this. Does it sound like nonsense? This has led me to another hypothesis. You found out something? What is it? Why should I tell you that, idiot? Do I care about you guys? No. This discussion was merely by chance, so you didn't talk to me in the future. Okay, bye. I wish she could open up her heart a little. This is, there's a computer here. Hopefully, if this has internet, we can know the current situation and request a rescue. I pressed the power button on the computer with a bloated heart. Damn it, it's broken. It doesn't even turn on, let alone the access the internet. Hirokawa, how's the investigation going? Nothing to say. Here. Here at the power room? Okay. I don't think she's gonna say anything else. Yeah, not much to say. What? I can't see anything. What is this room? Oh, be, be careful there, Maitakun. Ah, uh, what? Maitakuma's voice. What is this place? This room is called Control Room. It is the most important room that controls all devices. In the power room. Actually, the lighting here is totally busted. This was never meant to happen. Fortunately, it's, a fun its function is working properly. I can't fix the lighting currently. Please forgive me for this. What's that? Anyways, don't come here. It's dark and dangerous. You touch the wrong machine. You'll completely destroy it. Got it. I feel like someone's gonna die in that room. I didn't even want to come here anyway. Oh, she's still here. Mikuru, hey, Mikuru. Oh, I'm being ignored. Oh, can I go back here? Oh. I really wish- Oh, hey. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, as much as I dislike flavor text, I kind of wish that it had a translation. I'm curious to know what he has to say about a lot of this stuff. Is this the entire second floor? There's gotta be more. Oh, hello, Kenji. Ida, I looked up and I saw that the stairs to the second floor were open. So I went upstairs, but what happened? Ah, that's... Monokuma told us that every time we clear class trial, a new place opens. I see. Uihara, he said he does what he thinks is right. However, I think it would be better if we cooperated together. Still, it doesn't look like he wants to talk more. I like he's just pacing around the classroom, like... Really, buddy? Okay, there's another metal gate. There's a classroom. Oh, hello, buff man. M Mida. Yamaguchi, did you find anything? 
Well, I was going into every classroom and checking the windows, but the same goes for the second floor then. Oh, that's me. <laughs> same goes for the second floor then. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why my voice sounded like that for a minute. I sounded like I was buff. Yeah, it's all iron plates. There are no gaps at all. Fire hydrant. And this must be the library that Zagami spent all of chapter two in. What is this? There's some kind of papers in the desk. Ugh, dusty. I decided to brush off the pile of dust and read what was written on the papers. Let's see. I'll speak Academy. The Secretariat informs you. Secretary. Secretariat is a horse. Does it mean secretary? Lida, what's that? Well, it's this. It was laid here. Marta, read it out loud. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. Notice from the Secretary of Hope's Peak Academy. We have been working hard on the development of talented people who will be successful in the world for a long time. In the long history, the school has been an authentic education institute with special government accreditation. Our school has produced a large number of students in society and is active in all walks of life. But this time, our Hope's Peak Academy is about to end its glorious history. It was a painful and difficult decision, but it could not be delayed any longer due to serious circumstances. However, Hope's Peak Academy does not end here. In the near future, we plan to rectify the problems and resume our activities at once. Lastly, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all those involved for their support and cooperation over a long period of time. In addition, we inform you that the abolition of Hope's Peak Academy will be carried out with the approval of the relevant government agency. This is the end. That was... What does it mean? Hope's Peak Academy closed. Weren't we new students who entered Hope's Peak Academy just a few days ago? There are two possibilities. One, this is not Nikuma's prank. The other one is that Hope's Peak Academy really was ruined. That doesn't really make sense. Maybe it's just Mr. Monicum's prank, right? Let's put that aside for now and continue the investigation. Um, okay. But still, what in the world is this? Maida, did you find anything? No, I've been wandering around, but I can't find any clues to help us escape. Still, if we all work together, we will find something. Stay strong. Yeah, you're right. Marta, say you came to the library. Yeah, the library still has a school atmosphere. School atmosphere? Oh, I don't think so. What? Why? Isn't it an ordinary library? No, this library is strange. Don't you feel it? It's strange. How so? You didn't notice. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not clear yet. What? Now I just have more questions. It seems the time has slowly come. Let's go back to the dining hall and talk about our research. Is everyone here? How was the investigation? I went to the bathhouse. The bathing facilities were perfect, beyond comparison to our shower rooms. Which is why the girls all had a bath together. Well, what? Buff, is that why you'll smell flowery? Bloody hell, dig nubbit. Only I had a known a pretty woman here who had a good queen earlier. Have you known what? Are you even peeping on his bathing? Nah, no, I ain't a stinking pervert. Trust me, right? <laughs> oh, Ashikawa, you have a nosebleed. Are you okay? Ah, oh, what, uh, what the heck? Nosebleed at this kind of timing. Here you go, were you? What are you accusing me for? Or what? I didn't do anything. It's just because. 
Um, because I've been tired lately. Right, Yuki? What? Why are you asking me? Hmm, <sighs> so very suspicious. How do we get serious for once? Gossiping can be done later, guys. Yeah, we were investigating. Speaking of investigations, I checked each and every window in the classrooms. But like before, metal plates were blocking them all. Damn it! I looked around the library. There was nothing of interest apart from one thing. Mr. Maida and Mr. Kenjo, you know what I am referring to. Ah, oh, right. We have to talk about that thing. What the heck are you talking about? You see, there was a paper placed on the desk at the library. But the paper mentioned some strange things in it. Strange things? Yep, in short, it said that Hope's Peak Academy has closed down. What? Hope's Peak closed down. What are you talking about? Even though all of us here are current Hope's Peak students? I have no clue what's been going on behind the scenes either. This may be just another one of Mr. Monokuma's pranks. However, we cannot eliminate the possibility of the information being genuine. It may be related to why we are the only ones at this school. Are you implying that the closure of Hope's Peak Academy and the reason Monokuma kidnapped everyone is related in some way? Hold up a sec, that can't be right. Didn't we enter the school just before we fainted? We've only been at this school for less than a week, but the school somehow closed during that time? Yeah, there was nothing to suggest the school was on the verge of closing. Are we missing something here? I cannot make diff definitive conclusions yet, but the paper was definitely from the school's executive office. The seal and the signatures were authentic. What is going on? Well, we shouldn't concern ourselves with matters unrelated to our escape. We cannot figure out the mystery for now anyways. Let's continue discussing our investigation, shall we? Right. As well as the library, there's also a training room on the second floor. Training room? You can exchange rooms? How would be a trading room? Treadmill, dumbbell, sandbag, everything we need in there. The shelf, yeah, even contain energy drinks and protein powder. Would anyone be interested in exercising together? Oh, exercise is good. Is it okay if I join? Uh, I, I, uh, may. Sounds good, but why are you stuttering and scrunching your face all of a sudden? How do you get embarrassed from calling girls their names? Isn't that cute? Uh. Holly mackerel, kakaroos, pissed. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be calling you. Please don't get angry at me. Angry? I'm not angry. Look at me. C can't you see? Uh, I'm smiling. You look super angry, though. God damn it. Hey, hey, calm down. Don't fight. I'm not angry. I... I, I was just beating myself up over being an embarrassment. Let's get back to our discussion. You can do that later. Right, sorry. I am a let's go exercise together later. I may not seem like the type, but I love vigorously moving my body up and down. Vigorously moving your body up and down? Are you having obscene thoughts in the open now, Kobashikawa? Why are you thinking Kawashikawa-kun? Is it because of what I said? Your nose is bleeding again. Power room. Huh. There was a power room. A power room? What kind of place is it? Uh-huh. I'll take over from here. The power room is an incredibly huge room full of unusual machines. Power room. Does that mean it's for producing electricity? I believe so. Monokuma popped up and told us that the entirety of Hope's Peak Electricity is produced at the power room. Produced? How is it possible that a single large room produces enough energy to power the entire school? Not to mention the school apparently being self-sufficient without external aid. Makaku said the same thing. 
Monokuma told us that the school cannot receive external energy supplies from outside. What is he talking about? Hope's Peak is at the center of Tokyo, and yet the school cannot receive energy supply from external sources? Sugi had the exact same reaction as Mekuro did. I wish I had more to say, but Monokuma shut up after going on a tangent about the external electrical system itself. Mekuro claims to have a new theory about the school, but of course she didn't explain what she meant by it. Mekuro is a mean person, but she's smart. External energy supplies into this school is impossible. Hmm. The electrical system itself is, I see. It may be a possibility if our situation is associated with. What the heck are you mumbling about, Kinjo? It's nothing. It's only a theory for now. Was that everything we got out of the power room? Control room. What? It's dark, pitch black, without a single ray of light to be found. Like you? Hmm. Habashi Kawakun, why are you bad mouthing Mikako chan? I was just telling the truth. Uh, I'll take over again. I've been to the control room as well. Just as Mikako described, the room is extremely dark to the point that you can't see anything. There's a small lamp, but Monokuma said it's broken. The room's shape and the lack of windows amplify the darkness even more. Such extreme levels of darkness might be a health hazard. Yep, since it's so dark, we should probably be very careful in that room. After all, apparently that room houses all switches to the power room. One false step in the whole school's power might be compromised. Well, that's scary. Swear to me, y'all, not to be cheeky and enter that room. If we can't see anything, it, it will be hard to investigate the room properly. Yeah, I could only barely explore a fraction of the room. If only we had a flashlight or something. At the very least, I don't think the room has anything special in it, though. Hmm. All right. The library, the power room, the training room, and the control room. Is that all for the second floor? Yes, sir. The troll Satsuki has inspected the hallway. Why do you even need to patrol the hallway? Apart from the two classrooms, the second floor is similar to the first floor. Windows are all blocked by metal plates and nothing to help us escape. In conclusion, all we have found out this thus far is Hoops Peak's alleged closure and how the school generates energy entirely self-sufficiently. Wait, it may not be a clue to help our escape, but can I talk about it? Please, go on. I visited the girl's bathroom after having a bath at the bathhouse, but then Kyoka the Rope, the blood marks, and the rude ball fluid, they were all gone. The hell? Anyone secretly employed cleaner around here? Probably not, and the boys can enter the girl's bathroom because of the sensor. Girls were all likely occupied by the investigation as well. And the cleaner can only be Monokuma again? Nope, it was me! We gotta have a grotesque corpse right now when we're supposed to be having a harmonious school life. How we clean all crime scenes post trial from now on. Boo hoo hoo. The teddy bear's intervals are becoming more and more short. Now, we have done everything we could. That wraps up our initial investigation. What are we gonna do now? We might as well expand our investigation range since new areas have opened up. Clues we missed out earlier on earlier may reveal themselves as long as we continue to investigate. So, just as before, it's time to disband then. Hold on, I have something to ask Kendra. What now? Mekuru, Iliahara kun and Kizuna-chan, are you really going to leave them behind? Didn't I tell you already? I'm tired of saying the same thing over and over again. I didn't force them out. I gave them a choice. Leaving us was their own decision. I just sacrificed the minority for the majority. And I'm sure those who left us can manage perfectly fine on their own without killing each other. If you have an issue with my way, Akane, you're free to leave too. But know this Eve, before you do. I'm only doing this to protect everyone who stayed. Oh. I 
I might be an idiot and I'm capable of protecting anyone like you can. But who cares about the majority or the minority? We're all human beings. Just because some prefer their own company, they're still our classmates. How can you give up on them so easily? Scum, you're the worst. Akane's outburst sounds dissolve, even Tsurugi, but only for a moment. I don't blame you for thinking that way. The very fact that we are facing this type of dilemma is abnormal on its own. Akane, do you really think I like gambling with human lives? I don't enjoy having to do this, but trust me, Akane. You have no idea how many times I've had to deal with dire situations that sometimes require me to make tough decisions. Although I can respect our differences in morals at present, I simply cannot think of a better course of action than my plan. Like I have said before, you are free to leave if you don't like what I'm doing. I won't stop you. Enough, all of you. This is no time to be bickering among ourselves. Miss Hatano is right. This is exactly what Mr. Monokuma wants. We are playing right into his hands by fighting each other. I understand you're worried about these those three who have gone their own ways. But I am afraid I couldn't protect everyone. It's beyond my capability. But still, I shall not back down. The path you choose to follow is up to you. I won't leave. I will follow Kendrew Kim's plan. I can't do anything on my own. Because I'm a fool. But let me make it clear. I'm following your plan and your plan alone. I can't condone your ideals and actions. It's fine by me. If it helps you at all, think of me as a con I does. I wish to protect each of you as a leader and as a police officer. If I am able to achieve such, I shall be satisfied. I will not criticize or blame any of you if you choose to think little of me as a result. I care not for my reputation. But Kenjo, it's a waste of time to speak any further on this matter. In the end, I cannot allow myself to bond with anyone closely during a crisis. Isolation and exclusion aren't exactly foreign concepts to me. Don't worry about it. Why? Why is everything falling apart? Kinjo continued the discussion without delay. Well then, let's proceed with our investigation of the second floor in the bathhouse. Ah, oh, there, before we disband, would you care to listen to the proposal I have in mind? Oh, proposal. It will hopefully minimize the risk of potential danger. It also may be perceived as a bit of a hassle. Say so I would like all of us to decide together. Let's hear it. I would like to implement two rules. Firstly, we should all have breakfast at a certain time together. Secondly, no one should leave their room after 10 p.m. Will, will that reduce danger? To elaborate on the first rule, we should all have breakfast together immediately following Monokuma's morning announcement. If we stayed together while we are half awake from the sleep, it, it would become difficult for a murder to take place in the morning. Furthermore, we can quickly check whether everyone's safe and unharmed. Wait, what about those three guys who left us? Do I have to repeat myself again? I thought we were settled about that topic. Those three people will have to eat breakfast as well, so we can probably meet them here. All well and good thus far. How about the second rule? I meant it literally. After Monokuma's nighttime announcement at 10pm, I think everyone should stay within their dormitories at all times. No one's gonna get murdered if everyone's a neat, huh? That's right. Don't open the door to anyone, even if it's one of us knocking on it. But ma'am, won't there be lads breaking the rules? What, uh, what are we gonna do then? If you're thinking of breaking the rules already, you should leave your seat right now. I thought you agreed to follow my instructions. Blimey, I wasn't thinking of breaking them. Believe me, mate. It, it actually sounds alright. As long as we follow our self-imposed rules, we can prevent something like what happened to Kyoka, at least. Kenjo-kun, I wasn't going to say it, since I can already tell what your, your, an your answer will be. Are you eliminating the possibility of Kizuna-chan, Mekuru, and Uihara killing each other? Of 
course, they became traitors the moment they left us. The way I see it, if any one of them dies, they brought it upon themselves. <sighs> Listen to me, Surugi. Even if the so-called traitors die, there will still be a class trial. Don't worry about that. I will find the culprit no matter what happens. You sound so confident. As expected from the ultimate leader. Now wait, ultimate police. Leader, close it again. You made them the leader part, dumbass. Sarugi, even if you don't care about the three friends who aren't with us, will you let me offer a proposal? I am sick of talking about these three. Let's hear it. What's your idea then? I want to continue to speak to them and try convincing them to reconsider. Hopefully then they can cooperate with us in the new again in the near future. If I succeed in persuading them into joining our group, will you too welcome them properly as one of us? Hmm. I'll think about it. But only if they change their mind. Alrighty, let's make that one of our top priorities. Can't let Yuki claim all the glory, right? I'll help you too, my Dakun. Oh, that me too, me too. Satsuki wants more screen time. Guys, do as you please for now. If my just plan works, I'll lend some assistance. Right, let's go over the plan once more. We'll, continu we'll continue following Tsurugi's rules and instructions, but also try our best to convince Mekaru, Kinji, and Kizuna to rejoin us. We can do this! I thought it was going to be a lonely task, but it's honestly quite invigorating to see everyone excited to help each other out. Yes, this is who we are. We aren't down and out yet. We can fight Monokuma together, as one. I believe that Tsurugi will become open to cooperating with everyone someday. At his core, he is still a righteous police officer, trying to protect us. What comes next is up to us. Thanks to everyone, I can feel a small glimmer of hope within us. A faint hope that will help guide us through our struggles. That will let us overcome the despair of Mitsuhiro and Kyoka's death. And our hope will overcome the despair of a class trial. After a slightly later than usual lunch with everyone else, we left the dining hall. Time to put our plan into action. Afternoon. Okay, I think this is a good place to leave it off here. Um... I'm struggling a little bit with the grammar on this one because a lot of it is very um, awkward sounding. Um, I'll hopefully get used to it as time goes on. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit right now, but it's, I mean, I'm grateful there's a translation at all. So it's something I'll get over, I guess. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go to the, um, the Mono Mono machine and I am going to basically spend all my tokens on gifts. Um, maybe not all of them, maybe like a hundred or something because 200 is kind of a lot, but I'm going to do that off camera because that's really boring. Um, and I'm just going to edit here, and then the next episode I will have all those things, and I'll give a brief recap of it or whatever. But that does it for today's episode. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to go ahead and leave a comment down below, I would be super grateful. I do read every single comment I get, and I try to reply to them as well. So if you want to talk to me, be sure to comment. And... That's it. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.